The media definitely does, does not like Joel Embiid because of his previous seasons, uh, prior to the season, of course. Um, you know, they labeled him lazy. They labeled him immature. They're saying that he doesn't um, realize how big of a player he is at the times when he was getting hurt, um, eating the fast food on a bench while laying down. Um, the theatrics are not showing up in the playoffs, um, saying that he let down Ben Simmons during these playoffs, despite Joel Embiid averaging the majority of the points on the team, leading this team in scoring, leading the team in rebounds, blocks, et cetera, et cetera. They blamed him for getting, him getting hurt. There's a lot of things that there's a lot of um, stigmas that the media has against Joel Embiid because, because prior to this season, they, they were, you know, had, a, had a, a, a picture of Joel Embiid as a child, as a kid, as a guy, a grown man who still is living in a child's fantasy with the trolling and, and doing the on-court theatrics. They don't see him as a superstar player. And then when Ben Simmons left this team and everything that succumbed to how um, Joel Embiid fe felt about it, he was balling out. He was killing all, all the competition. And they don't want to see him as an MVP of the league because of everything they said about him prior. So they're just trying to you know double down on what they said, essentially, to save face. Um, you know, they don't want to give him an MVP. You know, that's a plan to see. I think next year, if he has the same production, they'll give him the MVP nod and say, yeah, you're the MVP. But this year, they're not going to give it to him because of everything that they said in prior years. They want to see consistency from him. They want to see him be able to do this on, for year, on a year-in, year-out basis, not just, oh, Ben Simmons left, so I'm going to just light it up and show him how much he's going to miss me. Um, I think that's what he means by they saying they hate him. And I know I, I kind of agree. I think the media... Does give um doesn't give Joel Embiid a fair shake, especially after this season. The team was depleted. They didn't know what they what to um anticipate from Tyrese Maxey, um Tobias Harris, who has been on a decline since he's been in Philly. He hasn't been playing as a as a twenty point per game scorer um as 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 we've seen him do when when you know he's relied upon. Um, you know, this, this year has been has really has been really tumultuous, especially when he brought in James Harden and things haven't been as dominant, I would say, yeah. as to say the least. It hasn't been as dominant as I anticipated it being. You know, they're playing better as of late, but they still haven't been playing up to that championship contendership par that I thought they would be. But yeah, Joel Embiid does get, receive a lot of hate in front of media, in my opinion. I feel like he's a guy, if not, should be the MVP of his league. When you talk about everybody else, when you start off with Jokic and the fact that I get it, you know, I credit Jokic, putting up gaudy numbers, every single night on a night-to-night -night basis. Clearly, Michael Porter Jr. is out. Clearly, Jamal Murray is out, and you have it to lift that load, and you got your team to the fifth seed right now currently standing. But when you look at Joel Embiid, and you talk about the distractions from the Ben Simmons saga since the playoffs last year into the season, he dominated the headlines, bro. Ben Simmons literally dominated the NBA headlines. Him and Kyrie Irving just dominated it for negative reasons. Having to deal with him showing up to practice, not coinciding and listening and being apart from the teammates. That's a lot to deal with. And when you talk about Tobias Harris being inconsistent and not being that valuable scorer that he once was, being that number two or three. When you talk about Maxi having off and on nights. When Maxi is hot, Maxi is hot. He's a capable third dude. But when he's not, he's just not. He's off tonight. So... One guy that has not been inconsistent or off and on is Joel Embiid. Being a playmaker, creating shots, getting his own shots, shooting threes, dunking, post up, blocking defensively. He's having that whole package, and he's dealing with the burden of carrying this team. And I think if you're Embiid, you say to yourself, listen, I would have won it last year if I ain't get hurt. I'm healthy this year. One of my biggest critiques is my availability and my durability. Well, guess what? I've been durable for the most part. I had one stint where I was out a couple games. And I think that was a good thing for Joel Embiid because he missed some time and he was able to amp it up and get healthy. And now you can take on that task of a daunting NBA schedule with the load that you have to take on your back. And that's why Joel Embiid is my MVP right now. The Can You Dig It Sports Radio Network is here. Revolutionize the game of media. Be a dig, dig.